Hey there, Stink fans. This is Alex Renault, Patrick White, and Nikita Kroslev. Come support the boys as we're kicking off the new season. Go Sting Go! And here we go. The puck is dropped and a brand new season of Sarnia Sting Hockey at CHO. It's Wednesday, and it's the start of another season of Sting Hockey, so it's the start of another uh, tradition around here of having the players coming in for visits every single week. But right now, without uh, with, with, with little fanfare, we say good morning to number 24 of the Sarnia Sting, Kevin Spinozzi. How are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. How are you guys doing today? We're happy that you got up and came in nice and early here this morning. But, I mean, you're a student. You're going back to Lambton College again, right? So, you know, you're used to getting up early and getting to class and all that, right? No, oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, all summer, my average wake-up was 5.45, so I get to sleep. 5.45 until se- in the morning or the yeah, evening? Yeah, no, in the morning. <laughs> what are you getting up at 5.45 in the morning for during, during That's, summer? Uh, I started working out at 6.30 every morning. Why? So. The gym is still there at 9 in the morning, you know. Yeah, I know, but I work from 9 to 9 to 4 every day, so. Okay. Well, you had a job. I did. You had a summer job. I did. It was just not to be in the gym training? For the next sing no, season? No, it was, uh, well, my dad has had hockey camps for 20-something years. Mm-hmm. So now I coach them with them. So we do oh, that okay. together. So yeah. Really? I mean, a summer okay. job where you spend all your summer on the ice, that's pretty, that's pretty exactly. cushy it's, gig. You can't it? really complain. It's a nice job. I thought maybe when you said you had a summer job, you were stocking shelves, or you were digging holes, or you are cutting grass. Taking care of kids. <laughs> <laughs> TCB, baby, taking care of business. So you were back in uh, Montreal then for the summer? I was, I was, I don't was, know why yeah. I slip into this French accent when I say Montreal. <laughs> uh, are you fluent? Do you speak French? I am. Uh, French is my first language. It's your first language? Yeah. And I, uh, English is your second? I oh, learned okay. English. Really? I did. Well, good for you. Do you use French a lot? Do you use it ever? Well, at home. At home. Well, like, we don't speak English at home. Oh, really? None? Yeah, it's, no. It's a, do you, do you have to like eat in the garage if you use English at home or? I don't know. Like it's, we, we do Franglish, oh, so we speak yeah. French and English. We just alternate. Franglish. Yeah, I so like that's that. what we call it. So we just alternate whenever, and then that's out of awesome. nowhere, my mom will be like, "All right, guys, French, stop!" <laughs> and she'll say that in English. It'll just be even funnier, and yeah. So when you're on the bench and you're yeah. really ticked off at one of your players, or maybe you don't, do you just start speaking in French about them? So because they don't know what you're saying. Oh. Or to the Russians, do you start speaking French? <laughs> I mean, a few of the guys, like, there's what, how many guys? We have five, last year we had five guys that understood French. So even if I did that, they still, some of them would know what it is. Mm. So, does your new coach understand French? I don't know yet. You I don't know. Try. Yeah. I don't want to try. <laughs> let's think of something that, no, you could say something in, a, in an aggressive sounding voice, but it would be a, a compliment. I'll try that. You know how in, in German that it always sounds like they're yelling at you? But it's really, they're just saying, have a nice day. But it always sounds like they're yelling. You could do that. You could, you could compliment the coach, but with that aggressive tone. They're French. I'll, g- I'll give it a try this yeah. year. Okay, okay. you yeah. let us know how that works. Let us know how it I mean, if I'm able to, to come it. back the next week, then yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can give us, like, and so when Darian comes in for visits, we can throw French at him, too. Perfect. Yeah, and then if he doesn't know, then that's my uh, yeah. that's my cue. <laughs> okay. um, Kevin Spinozzi of the Sarnia Sting, our guest. I know Sue is dying to ask you what you had for breakfast, but before we get to that, I'm going to talk just a little bit of hockey here, Sue. Just a little bit of hockey. How's camp going so far? It's good. It's yeah. good. I mean, uh, getting used to a new coach. There's new players. And... Exactly. I mean, it's uh, there's a it's a, there's a big, there was a big change in the off season, so it's. Uh, Something to get used to, but you know it's uh, the start of a new year, and obviously everyone's excited to be here. So, I mean, see all the players again and see the new guys coming in. It's uh, it's really good for us, and I think this year with the core of players we have, it's uh, the future looks really bright for this year's season. And uh, you know the new coaches and everything. So far, I think like they're they're great. So it's uh, it's just to keep that going and. Hopefully during the season we have a good year. This is a bit of a stutter step for you, isn't it, Kevin? Because you're uh, you're, you're attending pro camp and you're leaving. Did you say Friday? I am. You're I'm going down Friday. to Arizona. Yeah, I am. It's uh, so yeah. It's, you come to camp here, you're all excited. You meet everyone, and then you gotta realize you gotta go to another camp. Yeah. So it's uh, obviously it's gonna be a it's gonna be a blast, and hopefully I can stay there as long as I as long as I can. Yeah, you must be looking forward to that. That's gonna be a whole other experience for you. Isn't yeah, it? no, camp. it's uh, I mean it's, it's the NHL, so obviously the guys are a little bit better than uh, over over yeah. here. But uh, it's uh, I don't know. It's gonna be a, a good experience for me for sure. Do you have butterflies? I do. Last do night know? I had trouble sleeping a little bit. Did you? Because reality's starting to step in that I'm leaving on Friday, so it's... Yeah, think uh, about Arizona. It's the desert. What do you wear? I mean, you got to make sure that you No, got... yeah, you got a lot of shorts and drink a lot of <laughs> yeah, water. Yeah. Last time I got How a little dehydrated. How many sticks do you take? So. 
Sticks. Uh, I think they have some for me over there, but I think I'm going to bring three from here. Because you have your stick. Exactly, what I'm used to. So, Are you tempted to say when you go through customs to get to Arizona, do you have anything to declare? You go, yeah, I'm a freaking awesome defenseman. (laughs) Do you ever feel (laughs) that same? No, I think the only thing we have is we have to get that uh, government-issued B1 letter, I think. Oh, but that's about it. But obviously, obviously if they, when they ask where you're going, you tell them. You have some people that are like, ooh, that's interesting. And then you have some that are uh, a Los Angeles Kings fan, and then they just happen to not like the Coyotes. And then you're uh, sitting there for 20 minutes because yeah. you can't get through yet. Then, <laughs> no, Do you ever get uh, an immigration officer once they find out that you go into a pro NHL camp? Oh, could you sign this for my kid? <laughs> I haven't had that yet. <laughs> but, I mean, I've had a, a few questions, obviously, uh, who you, where are you from and – a lot of that, but it's uh, interesting. I don't know. It's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, interesting dynamic. He was telling me uh, j- uh, just uh, off the air here, Sue. Uh, one of the preseason games this past weekend was against. Well, two of them were against London. Yeah. Kristen Dvorak, who plays for London, is also going to Arizona Pro. He camp. is. Yeah. So uh, you guys, uh, I mean, you aren't mixing it up, chucking knuckles or anything, but uh, you you knocked him around a little bit during one of the preseason yeah. games. Knowing you're going to see him at camp in another yeah. few days, right? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's a little weird because it's like, I mean, he's going to be my teammate in a week, so it's you're finishing your check, but like, obviously, once you play, it doesn't matter. He's not on your team. I'm with the Sting, he's with London, so. But obviously, you have that little, always that second thought in the back of your mind. You're like, uh, I can be with him in a week. Do I finish my check as hard as I can? Or? Yeah. So what did you do? Did you? Did you? No, I finished it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I play like I said. I play for the Sting. He plays for the Knights. First, and it's a big rivalry, so you always got to give a little more than normal. So. Oh yeah, I just finished it. But uh, yeah, obviously, yeah, I mean, then, it was funny. And then as he's leaving, I'm you know crumbling down the boards. I'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, Kevin Spinozzi, number 24 of the Sarnia Sting, is your guest here, uh, is our guest here. Uh. And here we go. The puck is dropped in a brand new season of Sarnia Sting Hockey on CHOK. Gains the Guelph line, move around. Leslie in a goal scores! Oh, wow.